Bryce is doing a wonderful job running the clinic. And, and Toby can launder your money through my old salon. All I ask is that you let me out to run a new one. Please give Uncle Daddy grace and wisdom to say yes. One of the things I love about Claws is that at its core it really feels like a story about women trying to build power in a system that is stacked against them in so many ways. Can you talk a bit about how that message is connecting to viewers? It was so exciting to see these women, instead of going after each other, they're getting power from the collective. We all going through something. We just gotta, we gotta stick together. The script for me was just so extraordinary. For it to be headed by women of color, women in their 40s, has been very exciting. The different sizes and shapes and kinds of women are being represented. I've been in this business almost 25 years. Nobody has ever asked me to play uber sexy, uber sinister. I'm like, y'all know I'm not a size three. For the first time, somebody gets me and I can be myself, Polly. Loving each other through the flaws is something that I think is very fresh. I think that the audience sees themselves and their friends and their relatives in us. We kind of tapped into it just before this whole hashtag Me Too, Time's Up movement. So uh, we're just slightly ahead of that explosion. She thinks I should live like a boss. But you already got a gold necklace that says boss. We, you know, didn't just arrive yesterday. We're seasoned, we're unapologetic. We have our own agendas. We have sex for our own pleasure. I love the statement that that makes. 